passionate about getting the next generation interested in working in the trades. I love this. So they got some little helpers involved in this next project. Uh, you both are right after my dad's heart. Get the kids <laughs> while they're young. Dave, these are your kids. Yeah, that's my son and our uh, my son and daughter Ben and Aria. They're six and four. Nice. So they had so much fun playing around with this, and this is what I wanted to do. I loved playing and creating with my dad. Yes. And we really want to inspire that next generation to have fun with building and that mm -hmm. it can be a career for them, right? Yes, yes, it um, absolutely can. And actually, it's a well-paying and well-respected career, and you will always have work. Absolutely. There's a reason to become a trade. Like, there's so many reasons to be a skilled worker in this way. Mm -hmm. Joey, you have a baby, too. Um, I do, I do. We can't include her because she'll eat all <laughs> yes, of this stuff. Yes, my daughter. <laughs> She's one and a half. Yeah, my daughter Murphy's a year and a half, so she Beautiful. probably would have been dumping the concrete on her head. <laughs> <laughs> so she wasn't involved in this project, but we'll get her in there eventually. What makes this really fun for the kids, though, is that you have been using building blocks. Yes. Yes. So you've got, like, the hardcore concrete, but you're using building blocks as well, which is something kids absolutely love. Yep. And you've done a project with your kids that we have some tape of right now that we're going to show yeah, you. Yeah, so we put this together. I put some tape down on the bottom just to contain the concrete, but mm -hmm. you're just stacking in a pattern. So we decided to make a key with this. You lock them all together. The building blocks go together and hold everything. So as you pour the concrete, they're the form. So you think yeah. this is as if you're building a house. Those building blocks are the form of the concrete. Mm -hmm. You tap it to get the air bubbles out of the outside, and then ah. once the once the concrete's dry, you just peel the building blocks off, and you've got your structure made. And <laughs> my house to wherever the kids want to go. Yes! It doesn't have to make any sense. No. Let them be creative. Yes. It'll open the key to a fantasy world. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's the important thing when you're doing something like this with the kids is to let their creativity go wild. Yes. As adults, we want to control them and be like, no, that doesn't make sense. Why are you building that? But like, Who cares? this for instance, my son wanted to build a, uh, a stop sign. So he wanted to have Ooh, three holes. Sorry, I don't, want, I don't want to ruin it, but it's look okay. at that. And it, to show that's how great. easy the the building blocks come off, once the concrete's dry, you literally oh, just so peel it off, you take the building blocks into the wash, scrub them down to yep. get any leftover concrete off of them, mm -hmm. and you've created a nice little structure. And they right. show all the little indents across it that show kind of all of the, it looks uh, like, yeah, it looks each like little bricks. bricks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, and then you got the stop sign. You yeah. think about it, you can paint this. Oh, yeah. Exactly. You can have some fun with it afterwards. Yeah. This is just a, like, a, nice a, a little wall. wall. Oh, it's a wall. <laughs> of course it is. Who knows, right? Of course it is. It's the wall to the city that that's we have the key to. <laughs> well, and you can go from imagination to practicality as yes. well, because you can use this with little tea lights, and yeah. now you've got a little centerpiece for the table, that's right? That's a perfect gift, so, too. There's always a way to use these imagination things. There is. Well, especially this one. Yeah, yeah, exactly, This is right? genius. Look at this. It's a phone holder. That one took a little bit more work to figure out that. how to make it all work, but it yeah. works perfectly as a nice little phone holder. Mm -hmm. That is rustic. great. Yeah. Yep. Just now, showing kids that the trades can be fun because ultimately yeah. that's what we try to do in our day-to-day -day yeah. life. We have right. fun with this. Like, you do have a lot of fun We're doing with renovations, it. but we're having fun, which I think translates to the clients and it yes. shows that the trades can be an enjoyable place to work. Well, you know what's fun? In the world we're living in now, it's fun to have a job. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. 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 So if you want to get you will always be hired. It's, you yeah. know, figure out a trade that you love, start young, be creative, build. Exactly. And in the trades, you dictate your growth in it. As yes. determined as you are and yeah. as much as you want to grow, that's how you're going to grow within the trade. Right. You have control of it. You yeah. totally do. Okay, and this as well, um, which makes no sense to any of us. No. no. Who cares? <laughs> so was this something that your, your kids wanted to create? Exactly. Nice he just wanted bridge. to make a big bridge. He could drive yes. his cars underneath it. He could yeah. play around with it. It can be a little stool for him. They've sat on it and yeah. played around with it. And now, you can actually build something right here that exactly, you're going to show yeah. us. Why don't you show us what you can, how easy it is to use the building blocks. Yeah, so this is kind of a form that we already made out of the building blocks. You see okay. we left a cavity in the middle. Yeah. Now, here is the countertop concrete. It's important to get countertop concrete because it'll dry smooth. Oh, good to know. We just put it inside a plastic bag. You can mix it right in there. That way it keeps the dust down as well. Good. Just mix it up with your hand when you add the water. Not as messy as most of us would have exactly. thought. Exactly. Cut Make a piping off. bag. That's it. Now yeah. we're just, we're baking. That's all we're, we're baking. doing. We're baking. With, <laughs> we're baking with concrete, it's so like don't cupcakes. eat it. It's like cupcakes. Yeah, just fill up the area, the cavity that you've left. 
How long does it usually take to dry, actually? About 20 to 24 hours. Okay, so leave it, yeah, leave yep. it for a day. Yep. Leave it, and then like David mentioned, you just kind of tap the sides, you'll see the air bubbles come up. Nice. Get the air out of there, let that set, and there you go. And there you've got coasters for your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> for your teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much for adding that.